சாய்ராம் சாய்பாபா மகா பாராயணா சாய் சத்சரிதா சாப்டர் தேர்ட்டி ட்ரான் டு ஷிரடி காக்காஜி வைத்யா ஆஃப் வாணி ராம்லால் பஞ்சாபி ஆஃப் மும்பை இன் திஸ் சாப்டர் த ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் டூ மோர் டிவோட்டீஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ட்ரான் டு ஷிரடி இஸ் நரேட்டட் ப்ரிலிமினரி போ டு த கைண்ட் சாய் ஹூ இஸ் த அபோர்ட் ஆஃப் மர்சி அண்ட் ஹூ இஸ் அஃபெக்ஷனேட் டுவர்ட்ஸ் ஹிஸ் டிவோட்டீஸ் by his mere darshan he does away with their fear of worldly illusion sansar and destroys their calamities he was first nirgun formless but on account of the devotion of his bhaktas he was obliged to take a form to, to give liberation self realization to the bhaktas is the mission of the saints and for sai the chief of them that mission is inevitable those who take refuge in his feet have all their sins destroyed and their progress is certain Remembering his feet brahmins from holy places come to him and read their scriptures and read scriptures and chant the gayatri mantra in his presence we who are weak and without any merits do not know what bhakti is but we know this much that though all others may leave us sai won't for- forsake us those whom he favors get enormous strength discrimination between the unreal and the real and, no- and knowledge Sai knows fully the desire of his devotees and fulfills the same hence they get what they want and are grateful so we invoke him and prostrate ourselves before him forgetting all our faults let him free us from all the anxieties he who bring being overcome with calamities remembers and prays to sai thus will get his mind calmed and pacified through his grace this sai the ocean of mercy says hemat pan favored him and the result of this is the present work sai satsarita Ad- otherwise what qualifications had he to undertake this enterprise but as sai took all the responsibility hemat pan felt no burden nor any care about this when the powerful light of knowledge was there to inspire his speech and pen why should he entertain any doubt or feel any anxiety Sai got the service in the form of this book done by him and this is due to the accumulation of his merits in the past births and therefore he thinks himself fortunate and blessed the following story is not a mere tale but a pure nectar he who drinks it will realize sai's greatness and all pervasiveness those who want to argue and criticize should not go in for this what is wanted here is not discussion but unlimited love and devotion learned devote and faithful believers or those who consider themselves servants of the saints will like and appreciate these stories others will take them to the fables to be fables the fortunate bhaktas of sai will find the sai leelas as the kalpa taru wish fulfilling tree drinking in or devouring this nectar of sai leelas will give liberation to the ignorant jeevas satisfaction to the householders and a sadhana to the aspirants now we come to the story of this chapter kaka ji vaidya there lived in vani uh, nasik district a man named kaka ji vaidya he was the priest of the goddess uh, saptashringi there he was so overpowered by adverse circumstances and calamities that he lost peace of mind and became quite restless Under such circumstances one evening he went to the temple of the goddess and prayed unto her from the bottom of his heart and invoked her aid to be free from anxiety The goddess was pleased with his devotion and the same night appeared to him in his dream and said to him you go to baba then your mind will become calm and composed kaka ji was anxious to know from her who this baba was but before he could get any explanation he was awakened then he began to think as to who might be this baba to whom the goddess had asked him to go after some uh, thinking he resolved that this baba might be trayambakeshwar uh, lord shiva so he went to the holy place trayambak nasik district and stayed there for 10 days during this period he bathed early in the morning chanted the rudra hymns did the abhishega and did other religious rites but with all this he was restless as before then he returned to his place and again invoked the goddess most pitifully that night she again appeared in his dream and said why did you go to triambakeshwar in vain i mean by baba shri sai samarth of shirdi 
the question before kaka ji now was how one went to go to shirdi and who to, how to see baba if anybody is in real earnest to see a saint not only the saint but god also fulfills his wish in fact the saint saint and the anant uh, god are one and the same the sant and anant there is not the least difference between them if anybody thinks that he will go on his own wish and see a saint that will be a mere boost boast unless the saint wills it no one is able to go and see him even a leaf of a tree won't move without his bidding the more anxious a bhakta is for the visit of to the saint the more devout and faithful he is the more speedily and effectively is his wish satisfied to his heart's content he who invites anybody for a visit also arranges everything for his reception and so it happened with kaka ji shyama's oves when kaka ji was thinking about his intended visit to shirdi a guest came to him to him at his place to take him to shirdi he was no other than shyama a very close and intimate devotee of baba how he came to varni at this juncture we shall see we shall just see shyama was severely ill when he was very young and his mother had taken a vow to her family goddess saptashringi at varni that if her son got well she would bring and dedicate him at her feet then after some years the mother suffered herself suffered much from the ring worms on her breasts at that time she again took another oath to her deity that if she got all right she would offer her to uh, her two silver breasts and these two oaths remain unfulfilled at her death bed she called her son shyama and drew his attention to the oaths and after taking a promise from him that he would fulfill them he she breathed her last After some time Shyama forgot about these oaths and thus 30 years elapsed about this time a famous astrologer had come to Shirdi and stayed there for a month his predictions in the case of Shriman Butti and others came true and everybody was satisfied Shyama's younger brother Bapa ji consulted him and was told about his mother's oaths which his elder brother had promised to fulfill at her deathbed and not yet fulfilled hence the goddess was displeased with them and that was bringing troubles of the unfil on them and Bab- baba ji told this to his brother shyama who was then reminded of the unfulfilled oaths on thinking that any further delay would be dangerous he called a goldsmith and uh, got a pair of silver breast prepared then he went to the masjid prostrated himself before baba and placed went to the masjid prostrated himself before baba and placing before him the two silver breasts requested him to accept them and free him from the oaths as to uh, as to him he was him his, his uh, saptashringi goddess then baba insisted upon him to go himself to the temple of saptashringi and offer them at the feet of the goddess thus after taking baba's permission and udi he left for vani and uh, while searching for the priest reached kaka ji's house kaka ji was then very anxious to visit baba and shyama went there to see him at that very time what a wonderful coincidence was this kaka ji asked him who he was and whence he came and on learning that he came from shirdi he at once embraced him so overwhelmed was he with with love they talked about uh, sai leelas and after finishing the rites of shyama's oaths they both started for shirdi on reaching the place uh, kaka ji went to the masjid fell at baba's feet his eyes were soon bedewed with tears and with his mind attained calmness according to the vision of the goddess no sooner did he see baba than his mind lost all his restlessness and became calm and composed kaka ji began to think in his mind what a powerful wonderful power is this baba spoke nothing there was no question no answer no benediction pronounced the mere darshan itself was so conducive to happiness the restlessness of my mind disappeared by his mere vision darshan consciousness of joy came upon me this is what is called as the greatness of darshan his vision was fixed on sai's feet and he could utter no word hearing baba's leelas his joy knew no bounds he surrendered himself completely to baba forgot his anxiety and cares and got undiluted happiness he lived happily there for 12 days and after taking baba's leave udi and blessings returned home kushal chand of rahata it is said that a dream which we get in the wee hours of the morning generally comes out true in the waking state this may be so but regarding baba's dreams there is no restriction of time to quote an instance baba told kaka sahib dikshit one afternoon to go to rahata and fetch kushal chand of Sh- to shirdi 
as he had not seen him since long. Kaka Sahib accordingly took a tonga and went to Rahata. He met Kushal Chand and gave him Baba's message. On hearing it, Kushal Chand was surprised and said that while he was taking a noon nap after meals, Baba appeared in his dream and asked him to come to Shirdi immediately and that he was anxious to go. As he had no horse of his own nearby, he had sent his son to inform Baba. When his son was just out of the village border, Dikshit's tonga turned up. Dikshit then said that he was sent specially to bring him. Then they both went in the tonga back to Shiradi. Kushal Chand saw Baba and all were very pleased. Seeing this Leela of Baba, Kushal Chand was much moved. Ramlal Punjabi of Mumbai Once a Punjabi Brahmin of Mumbai named Ramlal got a dream in, his, in which Baba appeared and asked him to come to Shiradi. Baba appeared to him as a Mahant, saint, and he, but he did not know who he was and his whereabouts. He thought that he, would, he should go and see him, but as he had no address, he did not know what to do. But he who calls anybody to him also makes the necessary arrangements for the same. The same thing happened in this case. The same afternoon when he was strolling in the streets, he saw a picture of Baba in, in a shop. The features of the Mahan he saw earlier in the dream tallied exactly with those of the picture. Then on making enquiries, he came to know that the picture was of Sai Baba of Shiradi. He went soon after this to Shiradi and stayed there till his death. In this way, Baba brought his devotees to Shiradi for darshan and satisfied their wants, material as well as spiritual. Bow to Sri Sai. Peace be to all. Om Sri Sai Ram.